What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I wanted to talk about the reasons why I moved to Mexico as an American. But before I get into all that, I have some responsibilities to take care of because I'm a dad now. A dog dad. Okay, so the biggest reason I moved to Mexico is obviously to be with Sofia, my girlfriend, because she's Mexican and it's a lot easier for me to come to Mexico than it is for her to go to the United States because of visa issues. Right now, American citizens can enter Mexico on a tourist visa. You don't have to do any paperwork. You, as long as you have a passport, you can enter the country and stay up to six months. That is something that makes Mexico convenient in general for digital nomads and expats. So that's what I'm currently doing right now. It is a little bit harder to get like a temporary residence or uh, permanent residence, but not worried about that right now. That's something I'm worrying about in the future. Also, it's on the same time zone as the United States, which makes it very convenient if you're working remotely because you don't have to wake up at three in the morning to sign into work. You're on the same time zone pretty much within the same three hours. A lot of digital nomads struggle with working within the company hours for the company that they're working in because they'll be working for an American company but living in Bali so they have to wake up in the middle of the night to start working. And that being said, the time zone isn't the only convenient thing, it's also close to the United States. A flight from Cleveland to Cancun is only about like four or five hours. Depending on where you want to go, it could be even shorter than that and flights are pretty cheap. It's like a six and a half hour flight from Cleveland to Mexico City and that's just because there's no direct flight, you have to make a layover. But I would take that any day over a 17 hour flight to Dubai. So that's just one reason why I moved to Mexico. But before I continue with the rest of them, we're pretty hungry, we haven't eaten yet. So we're gonna go get something to eat and finish this walk. So let's go. So I'm gonna put this away and tell you about the next reason why I moved to Mexico. So the next most important reason why I moved to Mexico is because of things like orejas, the culture. The food here is delicious, the music is awesome, the people are super nice. You're right, I'm going to the car, it's really bad. She's Mexican and she couldn't take the sun. But yeah, as far as culture, I don't think there's many countries with as distinct and instantly recognizable culture as Mexico. Like food, for example, there's so many dishes that as Americans, we've never even heard of that they eat in Mexico. I'm constantly trying new foods and I haven't tried a single thing in Mexico that I don't like. And Mexico has such an interesting history dating back thousands of years from the Aztecs to the Mayans, the Mexican-American War. If you're into archeology span and history, this is a great place to be for that. Mexico City is super interesting. I highly recommend going to the Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City because it's such a cool experience. That stuff fascinates me. I don't know if everybody likes it, but like old ruins, history, love that kind of stuff. And then we can go on about the music in Mexico. I love Mexican music. Things from like mariachi, Luis Miguel, to newer music. Peso Pluma is getting really popular, blowing up on TikTok and stuff like that. I think it's like always been good music, but it just hasn't been as recognized in the United States, for example, and now it's getting more popular. But on top of all that, on top of like the rich history and the food and the music, Another thing I really like about Mexico is that it's a collectivist culture as opposed to a more individualized culture. So things like family values, things like valuing the community over oneself are very important here. And that's just a nice break coming from the United States where everything is all about personal achievement. It's, it's all about family here and that's really nice. I mean, I just ran a marathon here in Mexico actually, my first ever, and I felt a lot of support from Sophie's family. And in the United States, it, it can feel kind of lonely because you feel like you're on your own a lot of the time. Even if you do have a great family situation, everybody kind of does their own thing. Whereas here, like the tios and tias are at every Sunday breakfast. That being said, I will say from the younger people who I've talked to, they might feel held back by always having to put their family before their own personal achievement. I guess it can be sort of a double-edged sword, at least that's what I've been told. But I'm gonna finish my oreja and I think we're gonna go check out a hiking spot, which we've been wanting to see for a while. So let's go.
The next reason I moved to Mexico is because, well, it's just plain beautiful. From mountain ranges to volcanoes to beaches to deserts, Mexico has so much geographical diversity and so much to see and do. If you're a nature lover, there's so much of Mexico that's like unexplored. We've just been exploring here around Querétaro, where we live uh, since I moved here. I had never even heard of Querétaro before I met Sophie. It's like a beautiful region. It's mountainous here in central Mexico and it's got like vineyards and a lot of hiking. It's just not super mainstream. So that's why like, for example, we came up here and it was kind of an arduous hike, but we were the only ones here. That's kind of nice that it's undiscovered in that respect. There's a volcano right over there and we saw some beautiful nature walking all the way up here. We saw a rainbow grasshopper, which I didn't know existed, but it's super cool. Kind of looks like a transformer. <laughs> You know, the United States does have a ton of beautiful nature and a lot to explore, but I don't know, it's just interesting that there's so much here that I've never heard of, I've never even seen pictures of. So I'm looking forward to just exploring throughout the rest of this country to see all the underappreciated places that Mexico has to offer. And because tourism is a huge part of Mexico's economy, there's a ton of infrastructure already in place and being built to cater to the tourism sector. So it's just a really cool place to visit in and around. Uh, although there is some insecurity and crime in some areas, so it's not all rainbows and puppies, rainbow grasshoppers and puppies. Mm. I feel safe here with Sophie because she's a guide and she knows where not to go, where to go. So I recommend if you come to Mexico to get off the beaten path and explore something more than just the beaches in Cancun or uh, the big cities because there is like really a lot to see here. There's also these little villages sprinkled throughout the countryside, which are denominated for their cultural heritage as Pueblos Magicos or like magic villages. They're really fun, like touristy little towns. Um, we've been to Peña de Bernal, San Miguel de Allende, Tequisquiapan. But speaking of getting off the beaten path, this park is gonna close, so we have to get out of here. All right, so the last reason that I moved to Mexico is because of affordability, but with an asterisk because it's not as affordable as you might think. Of course, an American salary goes a lot further in Mexico than it would in the United States. There are some caveats. The first is that right now, inflation is affecting the whole world and Mexico is included in that. So right now, prices are pretty high in Mexico. Even though the peso is weaker than the dollar, right now the peso is really strong. So some things like groceries are not as cheap as you might think. Most products aren't that far off from American prices, so there's not a big difference there. And some products are actually much more expensive here in Mexico, especially American products like Nike or Apple or Levi's. They're not as easy to get here in Mexico as they would be in the United States, so they're a lot more expensive here. You also have to consider that if you earn in dollars, there's the exchange fee every time you take out money at an ATM. So it might be a good idea to actually open up a Mexican bank account if you do move here. That way you're not being nickeled and dimed on every purchase because it does add up. So I just wanna throw that out there if you're considering moving to Mexico that it's not that big of a difference in terms of like shopping. I'll just put it this way. If you're struggling in the United States, then coming to Mexico won't magically fix all of your financial problems. But if you're doing well in the United States, then coming to Mexico will feel like you're doing a whole lot better. Because it is true, rent is a lot cheaper here in Mexico than it is in countries with bigger economies like the US. And uh, things like gas and electricity, utilities are generally cheaper here as well. For example, in the house we're living in, the gas isn't connected to a gas line. It has like a big tank on the roof that they come and refill every like three months and it costs about $100 to refill the gas. So that's not too bad. There's no heating in the house, so we don't pay for that, but it's for things like hot showers, for the oven. Um, well, I guess just those two things. But we're just two people, so you know it could be different depending on how many people you are living with and how much gas you use. But be warned that if you move to a highly populated area like Mexico City and you wanna live in like La Condesa or Roma Norte, like the trendy, expensive neighborhoods, it'll probably actually be more expensive depending on where you're moving from because those are the trendy neighborhoods, everybody wants to live there. And the recent trend has been a lot of foreigners with foreign dollars moving into those neighborhoods and driving up prices. I would say just be respectful of the people 
who live in the area that you're moving to and don't expect you know crazy ridiculously cheap prices unless you're gonna be a little bit further out from city centers and places like that. Eating out also tends to be less expensive in Mexico unless you're in a touristic place like Cancun or Playa del Carmen there it can be really expensive but in general restaurants are a lot cheaper here it can actually be cheaper to eat out than to buy groceries. So while we are able to afford a much more comfortable lifestyle than the life I was able to afford in New York City I am still keeping track of expenses and doing budgeting just to make sure that I stay on track of things because moving in general is expensive so if you're gonna to move to Mexico keep that in mind you have to have some savings there in place because there's always stuff that comes up expenses that were unexpected so right now I'm keeping a close eye on my budget so I've been tracking my expenses in a Google sheet if you're interested in tracking your expenses as well I'll leave that down below but that being said I'm not a financial guru or financial expert at all that's just something I've been using so I'll leave it down in the description might be helpful to one of you thank you so much for watching if you've watched up to this point I'm on the journey to 5,000 subscribers, so if you got any value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe, share the video, leave a comment, do anything to let the algorithm know that you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. So until then, give travel. Bye guys.